What is going on everybody? Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing. Hey, I just got off the phone with Bethel and Tim and we're going to take the boat out. You know, it was really not planned trip. Uh, so I had my GoPro in my hand, just thought I'll film the intro real fast. So what is going on is that we're having these cold fronts after cold fronts after cold fronts. And the water gets pushed out. Water level is like extremely low. Today I was supposed to go out and fish with a friend of mine, but the trip got canceled last minute. The winds were strong. And like I said, the water has been very low. So it might be tricky to find a place to put the boat into but we're going to give it our best we're going to give it a shot stay tuned wish us luck we'll probably be fishing with live shrimp on a cork and run around see if we can get some reds see i mean mate we may might end up at the jetty for some sheepies because they've been catching sheep in good numbers but yeah so wish me luck be out there with bethel and tim and bethel's express boat excellent boat i love this boat man but yeah we're gonna get out there and get on the water thanks for coming back don't forget if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel please go ahead and do so like the video leave a comment below let's go the water level was so low we attempted several locations in moses lake attempting to put the boat in we ended up at the texas city dike and we're just gonna put the boat in and fish the surrounding areas The water was so clean, it looked amazing, just beautiful, but again, extremely low tide conditions, kind of hard mover, maneuvering around some of this lower line water, but this boat runs extremely low. I love this boat. We pulled up to this one intersection where we had some luck before, plenty of mullet in the water, great water visibility, just no takers. Moving oh, into more open waters, we started seeing reds. Oh, there you go, right there. Yep. That's that vib big one. that vibration. Now if I can reach him. The left, there's one right in front of. Oh, him. right there. Yep, yeah, I see him. You see him right there? Mm-hmm. They stopped. They stopped too. <clears throat> there's another one right there. Yep, right? I see him. He's running right towards the court. Right in front of you. Look at that one in front of you. Right. No, to the left here, right in front of you. Beto's heading straight towards it. Right oh, there. yeah, yeah, I see right him. There. There's two of them. He just flipped one right there. I don't think they're gonna, I don't think they're eating. Ooh, there is a sheepy. Look at sheepy, sheepy, yep, sheepy. that's a big sheephead. Surrounded by reds, we were seeing them all over the place, but we were just scaring them. The cork was too loud, the trolling motor was probably scaring them too with the vibration. Should have put on a lure, should have tried to sight cast a few more, but the conditions for the jetties was perfect there is no wind if we had any wind we probably would have drift fish and could have easily got into a few but we decided to head to the jetties and try a look for some sheep heads you know there's a saying you don't leave fish to catch fish to find fish to chase fish but we did just that I typically will use around 20 to 30 pound fluorocarbon leader line. I like to make the leader line any, anywhere from about 18 inches to about 2 feet. And right where I tie my braided line to my leader line, I will place a split shot. Typically, I like to use a octopus hook or a J hook. Today, I am using a mustad size 2 octopus hook. 
and if you do not feel the bottom then simply put another split shot on and so you can get down there and get to where the sheepies are i think you're just a hole i think you might be a fish there we go yep that's a fish Finally. <laughs> what is that dude? Toadfish? Is he poisonous? No. Is he ugly? Yes. Is he edible? No. He is not edible. Is he spiny? He might be spiny. He is ugly. Look at his teeth. I got bit by one of these before. That hurt? It didn't feel good. It didn't feel good, I bled. Nice little toady. Bet they got a fish. Where's it at? Nothing. What the fart? What the fart? Oh. You got him? Get him. Let me see if I got him. Is he chasing it? No, he nibbled on it. No. Look. The boop. That's the second thumb. Is it gone? And you know what I'm doing? I'm just casting it out there and making it. Out. There you go. There you go. Get him. There you go. Huh? Just leave it for a second. See if something come get you. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew I felt you. Thump thump. Thump thump. Thump thump. You should keep that one. If they're dead, just put them on the side. Let them start getting a little stinky, and then you can throw them close, a little further away from the rocks, or even at the rocks. And you start catching red with the stinky ones. Who just threw a shrimp away that's alive? You no, know, he is swimming. <laughs> he, swim he just started swimming, yeah. So one of the things that I was just explaining to Beth and Tim was that if you take some of the fresh dead shrimp and you set it out on the boat and let the sun kind of dry it up a little bit, let it get a little stinky, uh, for some reason, you know, the reds are really attracted to that scent. And you can drop it over the side of the boat or pitch it at the rocks. And you can start catching reds where you were just catching some sheephead. So it's kind of a cool technique to use, especially in a case like this when the bite is really, really slow and really off. So it's good to just kind of change it up and start targeting a different species. Uh, oh, yep. That's a dead shrimp too, I told you. Remember I put that dead shrimp out and said I'm going to let it cook in the sun a little bit? Ugh. Uh. Oh, he's off. Uh, he got off. Uh. That's that dead shrimp, though. I put that dead shrimp right there. Well, let's put a whole bunch of dead shrimp on that. <sighs> he pulled out. Look, and I just put a little hook on for a sheep head. Bet they got one on, finally. Got a netter. I don't know what it is. Sheepy. Black drum. Red drum. Red drum. There oh, you go. Damn, there heavy. you go. Bring him in. He's heavy, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, that's a stingray. <laughs> I think we got something. Shit. Beto? No, at least Return we got something. The Ray, the Ray King. No, yeah, no, that's no. a Ray King. He's no, a stingray no. king. Yo, better the king gray king. This one's better. Sting gray king. At least this one's edible. Yeah, well. Yeah, but you the sting gray king. We already established that last time we were out here. You got him? You got him, Beto? What you got? You got him? Nope. Oh, I got him. No, oh, come on. Ah! 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 Pull it again! Pull it again! I'm pulling that hook off. That little hook. I'm changing this hook out. But you know what? But you know what? That was on the dead shrimp again. That was on the dead shrimp again. I gotta take this hook off. I mean, but the little hooks work too. And how do you hook it, Ruben? How do you? I just hooked it through the tail, cause we got some good current. So right here. Yeah. Like that? Yep. That's it. It might be big uglies. He just sat there till I set the hook, so. 
I might have to just get a little bigger hook. I want a smaller hook so it doesn't catch the rocks as good. But it ain't gonna work, Ruben. If it don't stay in their mouth, it don't matter. Just a octopus hook, but I've caught big fish with that size hook. It's just right. size two. Oh, that's what I use. Oh, you got him? Dead shrimp, baby. I told you, dead ah! shrimp. <laughs> he got off two on the dead shrimp, right? Yeah, so. And you have a big hook, so it's just one of those things. Just came off. So you, who life, needs who needs who needs live live shrimp, huh? Everybody fishing with dead shrimp. Dead shrimpers. Dead shrimp. Brought to you by. You got him? How you know? Because me a little bit and I felt like he you. Well. Oh, there he goes again. Take my title. Come uh, on, this stingray. It might be a stingray. He's holding down like one. Oh, a little bit of run. You got, you got the stingray. Got a big old it's stingray. stingray. It's a big one. It is a stingray. It's a big one. Ooh. Ruben is the official stingray king. For He's a big he one. Pulls out a damn stingray. Ugh, it is a big ray. Is it? Yeah. He's huge. Oh. Ah, there you go. <laughs> see that? You see that's like that's like the shit. biggest stingray I've ever caught. You see that, Ruben? That's the biggest stingray I've ever caught. That thing is huge. You want me to flip him? I'm going to boat flip him. Oh, don't flip him. Huh? You want me to boat flip him? You say you're the stingray king. Oh, I didn't even get him in the mouth. <clears throat> well. Did you get him like on the side? Mm-hmm. He laid on it. Well, I'm going to <laughs> You're the one that brought him over here. I'm coming back. I wasn't catching. Side, dude. I wasn't catching no dang stingrays guy, until dude. you came over here. What does that tell you? Come on, partner. There's a big, there's a good one to have too. Dude, you, well, yeah, you want these for? You can use them for shark. Yeah, 100%. Yes, they sell them. They sell them frozen at uh, Bucky's. Bet those on. Bet those on. Come on, bring that stingray up. <laughs> bring, that, bring that stingray up. We're in the stingray hole. Bring that, bring that ray up. Oh! Oh! God, it's been a stinky ray. Man. Stinky ray day, dude. Good job, Beto. Okay, let go of this hey, title. You, got, you uh, stingray king, huh? You trying to pass it on? So Ruben is the stingray king. Nah. But I wanted him to relax today, and I took it from him just a little bit. Just another day for Ray. Man, you lucky. Man, you lucky. I think man, we how use. How come these ain't got no barb thing, man? It does. Where? I don't would see it. Grab his tail. Thing. Grab his tail and see back. if it's there. It's on the other side. Grab his tail, see if it's there. You scared? Come on, Ruben, look me up. He's like, Ruben, come on. Ruben, hook me up again. Like I said, if I. Uh, He's standing like a little bit. man. We have some fucking good food. It has some good scallops. That's the only one I've heard people make them. Is with the scallop. The scallop is a shellfish. Dude. No, no, no. I know scallop style, like they do, like the oh, cookie yeah. cutter. That's the only way I heard. Come on, fool, get off. You got this guy good. Come on, bro. I like stingrays. Why you his nose like that? Cause I'm trying to get his ass off. Why you got his? I'm gonna grab his lipper and put it down some. That way you don't get, don't break off. See, that's it. Like a blanket. I like stingrays, only because I ain't got stung by one. I just don't want to be wade fishing with one. You know, we ain't cool, we ain't that cool. We ain't cool enough to be wading. And then open your mouth, fool. Now you got, now you're scared. Say ah. Come on. Damn, where were you been? 
Trooping can let them motherfuckers go easy, dude. It is easy. You just just don't let them touch you with their tail. It's all good. Stingray King, ladies and gentlemen, right there. Stingray King. Well, you know, that is going to do it today. You know, I had a really good time out there with Bethel and Tim. You know, it was, it was kind of funny, you know, because we wanted to fish the Moses Lake area around Texas City. There's a boat ramp that we go to a lot and we get bait there. Uh, we couldn't get the boat in there. Actually, the ramp was actually closed because the water level was so low. Then we hit another location that, another ramp that's... Uh, connected to Moses Lake and we couldn't even get in there either so we ended up going to the dike and fishing around the dike area sight trying to sight cast a few reds but they were just weren't feeding they were real skittish real skittish and and weren't feeding and and we just couldn't hook up so went head over to the jetties you know last few weeks you know people have been catching some good numbers on some sheephead so I thought you know what I love catching sheephead sheephead tastes great uh, half shell on the grill so thought I would throw toss that in the video but it just wasn't happening for us today throwing some live shrimp you know end up catching a few fish on some dead shrimp but it wasn't really much to speak of but you know what I had a good time it's always a great time on the water got it was able to go out and hang out beautiful day great company great friends and uh and, and hook up to a couple fish I mean it wasn't what we had hoped for it wasn't what I was trying to put uh, for some good content for you all but you know what hey that is fishing a good day on a water is better than a good day anywhere else at least for me but hey tomorrow get all my stuff together you know you get this footage off charge up all my batteries get all my stuff together i'm going out tomorrow back to back trips going out tomorrow with a patreon steve he invited me out on his boat so we're gonna probably jump around a little bit fish a little bit of west bay and see if we can catch some trout so Today's trip was about reds and sheepies. Didn't happen. So tomorrow's trip's going to be about some specklers. Hopefully it happens for me. Thank you again, Bethel and Tim, for having me out on your boat. I love that boat. Express is great, great, great boat. If you uh, if you haven't fished out of one or if you're interested in getting a buying a boat, well, check them out because, they, like I said, they are a great boat. And no, I'm not sponsored by them whatsoever. I just really, really like those aluminum boats. They're, they're fantastic. But, yeah, wish me luck tomorrow. Stay tuned for the next video. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Leave a comment. And until next time, hopefully you catch me. Hook it up. Thanks.